What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how you can highlight the musical scale in your track. That way you can follow along with it without having to know the music theory. So let's get right into it. So first thing I would say you do is drag a one shot in, whether that be a kick or snare, and bring the volume all the way down. And then just rename it as scale, okay? Then we can go into the piano roll of that and we can get started on highlighting our scale. To do this, you're going to want to go to the drop down arrow, go to view, and then go to scale highlighting and do whatever scale you want. So let's just do minor natural. And by default, it's going to put it into C minor. So the root note gets highlighted gray like this. And then all of the notes that are going to be in that scale are all of the white blocks, as you can see here. So for C minor, there's C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp. A sharp and back up to C. So keep in mind when you're doing the scale highlighting, you only have to pay attention to the white blocks here, okay? So for example, let's switch this over to A minor. Just move the root note to A over here on the root note side, and boom, it's gonna move that gray highlighted root note area to A, and all of the notes are gonna get highlighted for that scale. So whenever you throw in another Element. So let's just throw in FL keys or something for right now. And then we go to the piano roll of that element. As you can see, the scale is highlighted there as well. So it's really, really helpful if you don't know the music theory, you're trying to learn the music theory, or if you don't want to learn, you just want to follow along and make your own sounds without having to worry about all that. It's really simple inside FL Studio. That's pretty much it. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.